another episode of Bark Talk Football today. We're playing Football Manager 24 and we are here to the final two games of the Champions League. We are playing Liverpool and we will be playing Benfica. What has happened since the last time you've seen us? Quite a lot. Rick Hokeman has left for £93 million. And we have got a person to replace him for less than half of that. Mark Gay. Crystal Palace for £30 million. He had a release clause in there and I triggered it. Um, come straight into the club, go straight into the team, straight into the Champions League um, and doing well. We have played a game since the last time you've seen us. Uh, let me just go back and go on here. Uh, we After the Bournemouth game, we lost to Arsenal in the FA Cup third round, played a completely second string team. And beat Wolves 2-0, comfortably beating them. But today we've got Liverpool away and Benfica as well. But with this being Liverpool, we went two goals down and then come back with this formation. So we're going to try and do it again with this um, and see if that works. If this doesn't work, then I have no answer to anything anymore. In my knowledge, this should work like a piece of piss. But... This is me. This is me. This is me. This is how it's supposed to be now. Right. Here we go. Liverpool playing a 4 3 3. We're playing a 4 2 3 1. Liverpool currently ninth. We are second. Two points behind Tottenham, who are top of the Champions League. But our main focus is. Gain automatic uh, playoff promotion? Qualifier? I don't know. One of them. All right, Gomez goes down the line to Alvarez, flicks it around for Okada, going down the line, has been fouled. Does look slightly out of the box, but the Liverpool player does look like he is in the box. Could be a very touchy situation here for a penalty. It's not, but it will be a free kick, I presume. And it will, couldn't you? Back post, cleared away. Antonio Silva lets it go for a throw in. So far, so good. That's not good. Ah. <sighs> Fuck's sake. I don't know about you, but I automatically qualify for the Champions League will do us a love of God good, but. My white main worry is the Champions League playoffs. And by that I mean I don't know if we're ready for it. But who knows? Who knows to be fair? You don't have to destroy the group to the group stage part to get good. Who knows? But just I just need to see something different. Belvarez back post cleared it. Right. Where are Benfica? That's the question. Benfica are 19th on 10 points. I don't want to do individual. I pressed buttons I shouldn't have. Come on. Right, half time. Not good enough. Go out there second half and see if we can do something a bit different. Or we're going to do the same thing as what we did last time against Liverpool in the last episode and concede straight away. But in maybe not. Sam Yu. Back to Gomez. To Sam Yu. Okada. Talian. Van Hommel. Doesn't get it. But Luis Diaz does. Going on the counter attack here. Down the line. Cuts in. Cuts back. Neves. Goal. Fuck me. We're in trouble. Again.
Right, so the four two three one definitely did not work. Drop down to fourth now. We're going to have to w win our last game. Antonio Silva wins it back. Going on cautious now to try and do counter attacking football. Jesus. Just, we're not getting anything in this. Absolutely nothing. It feels like this is Liverpool's game and we're just turning up for it. Champions League night and Liverpool, and um, we're bending over for them. I'm going to make all the changes here. We've had six shots, zero on target. Oh, dear. So with that, that means we're two points inside of the automatic qualifying. Um, we've got one game left to play, and that is Benfica. And with the Benfica game, we're going to have to win to be comfortable of going through. I don't care where in the top eight we finish, because it doesn't really matter. If you automatically qualify, you get a good draw anyway. So I'm just hoping we can get, we can automatically qualify because I don't want to play an extra game. Oh. All right. All right, four minutes of added on time. Elliot, out wide, donk. Put a donk on it. We're closing down there to stop Elliot from closing in, crossing in, sorry. Elliot again. Go for another corner kick. Flicked on. Great save by the keeper. Alright, just end the game now, please. I don't want to play this anymore. I've had enough now. Right, let's get to the Benfica game, shall we? Right, welcome back. We are having a potential new signing, and his name is Eric H. Tanstop. Or as I'm going to call him, Eric. Um, six, uh, what, five foot ten centre back, left footed. Um, a player who I saw multiple clubs going after him. Wanted by Arsenal, Chelsea, PSG. We bid, bid seven million pounds for him. Wonder kid. Um, with the bid that we've done for him, it is an automatic um loan back for a season and a half. Um, for him to get more experience going back. Um, we've also offered out on loan Kevin Tillian, the goalkeeper, backup goalkeeper. I'm going to see if there's an old experienced goalkeeper that's not really being played um, that can go on the bench because um, I want to start playing the youngsters as well. But apart from that, nothing else has happened since the last time you saw me um, since we lost to Liverpool. But what we're going to do today is we are going to be playing Benfica uh, at home, so we need to win this. We have already qualified for the playoffs, but now we want to automatically qualify for the round of 16, I think it is, um, if we win this. So it's all about us now trying to overcome the odds and being able to push on a little bit further of what we need to do. So let's see what we can do here today. All right. Playing... Benfica. Looks like they've got quite a few tired players here as well. Morotto we signed in FM23 for Reading. Uh, is that John Nevers? Out. 
Oh, no, that's not the one I think it is, is it? It is Gel Neves. 50 million, is that it? 24 years of age. Would mind him on my bench or on my team. Good player. Good players here. Alright, see what we could do here. Playing out from the back. Matis Cunha gives it to Okada. Through to Sam Yu. Nowhere to go. Cross it back in. Oh. Okada tried to get it, but unfortunately wasn't able to bury it. Twenty minutes gone and nil nil, but we're still in the automatic places. So that is a positive for us. All right, I've sat quiet because I'm thinking and nothing has happened. We've had a lot of the shots, but nothing's going on. Back post. Mark Gay gives it back to the Artillian Estadion. Back out wide to Gomez. Wide open. No one closing him down. Gets deflected. Cross it back in and another deflection there. And Antonio Silva gives away a foul there. Dominated possession. Dominating the shots. But we're not putting it away. Okada, if he's going to shoot, needs to put it where the mouse is. Oh, okay. Great save by Samuel. Right, corner kick here. Gomez, he's going to go short because we don't go long with an outswinger. Throw in this time. Another set piece that could go in our favour, but looks like it doesn't. Right, half time, nil nil. I'm not happy with what I've seen. I am and I'm not. I'm happy because we're in it, but I'm not because I want to win. Cleared it. Mark Gay finds Van Hamel. Italian son. Go to Sam Yu. Fucking hell. Right. Akada needs to come off. Not having a great game. So Jimenez can come on. Desperon can come off for him. Bradley can come on for him. I'm going to put Iverson on as well. That's four subs, and we're in the 50th minute. I'm just not happy with the way things are going. Maybe a change of players, the way they're playing, may be doing it, but they're not doing it for me. But we're also on balance, and I'm not happy with that either. We're going positive. Try and up the ante a little bit. We're blocking most of the shots as well. An hour gone. And we've got Sam Yu with Iverson over on the wing. And Sam Yu now drifting his way slowly into the box. Cunha's going to take it. He's going to aim for there. It's over the top. Unlucky there. Is that McGinn as in the Aston Villa McGinn? Yeah, it is. He went to Shakhtar Donetsk at one point. I've got to have a look at his history. He went there for a free in 2020. He went on loan and went to went on a free to Benfica. Madness. Okay. Come on, lads. Let's do something, please. All right, Sam Yu's going to come off for Dolberg. Right, Jimenez, Antonio Silva, great save, clears it away, and Artillian is studying, trying to get the ball back, and he does, Van Hamel, Mark Gay, don't want to hurt. Few minutes left. Five minutes of added on time. Can we get a late winner? We're automatically qualified for the automatic playoffs. So I'm very happy with that. Three points behind Real Madrid. Two points behind Tottenham and Bayern Munich.
but higher than PSG because of goal difference. Nil nil, 19 shots. Should have won that with the chances we created, but it was not meant to be. Right, that is going to be the end of this episode. Don't forget, we've got a Deportivo La Coruña save now coming up at 8 p.m. UK time and up until Sunday, every day until Sunday. So make sure you go and check that out. Make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys very soon for a new FM24. Peace.